60 frames per second is usually the most that people will need for videography, but maybe 120 if they want to push it some more. But when it comes to sports, 120 frames per second may not be enough. So today I have the FX30 and we're going to do a comparison between the frame rates of 60, 120, and 240 on a 24 frame per second timeline and to see if it really is good enough for you. Hey fam, Mike up did. I'm Mike, nurse photographer and videographer, and we have some sample shots of me hitting a forehand in different frame rates. We're filming with the Sony FX30 with the Sony 18-105 f4 lens for the APS-C line. Because of general rule of thumb, I first used a shutter speed of twice these frame rates. First up, we have 60 frames per second. As you can see, although my body movement is slow, this setting is still not enough to reduce the motion blur of the tennis ball making contact with my racket. You have to break the 180 degree rule and crank up your shutter speed to be able to reduce the motion blur. This is okay if you want to analyze your own stroke or the stroke of another tennis player. Next, 120 frames per second. Much like the 60 frames per second, the body movement is even slower, but still a decent amount of motion blur of the tennis ball making contact with the racket. Here it is again at 4K 120 frames per second. Do note that this camera does crop in when shooting 4K 120 frames per second by another 1.6 times. And here we are in 1080 240 frames per second. Although this is just twice as much as 120 frames per second, I really don't see much of a difference, at least with this sport. Perhaps you can appreciate the 240 frames per second with other sports such as basketball, motorsports, weightlifting, or anything with bigger body movements as opposed to tracking things like a tennis or a golf ball. For most people, 60 frames per second is enough, but fortunately with Sony APS-C cameras like the FX30 and even with the A6000 series, you can still shoot up to 120 frames per second in 1080 if needed. Click over here to learn more about the FX30. Thank you very much for watching. Now go out there and shoot for the life that matters. See ya!